Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X2. So, um, I'm actually gonna have to, uh, practice after this, because this is about as far as I went in my practice file. But what we will do is, there is an optional dungeon, or, like, I guess an advanced dungeon in here that involves somehow getting a level 5 chocobo and things like that. Um, and I don't know how to do that yet. So, we will have to probably revisit this area before we call it. But, the first three areas are complete. There are some things like Mushroom Rock Road has the Den of Woe in it, and we have to, we have to do the, we have to get through 20 levels of a different dungeon, of the 100 floor dungeon before we could even tackle that. So, like, the sequencing from here on out is going to be weird. But most likely what's going to happen is, I'm going to take my practice file, and I'm going to go through all the areas after this that are probably one-stop shots. So probably Moonflow, Guado Salam maybe, um, Thunder Plains, uh, Michelania, ba Bavel, uh, wait, no, Bavel, definitely not, um, uh, Gagazette, and Xander. And then we'll know what we're going to do for the next couple videos. But right now I don't know, but we are 80% complete, which is neat. So when we finally get to the bottom of this mystery, don't miss the thrilling conclusion. But this is basically just going to be mystery solved, and then... Our proprietor, Rin, is presenting the results of his investigation into the High Road's troubles of late. Would you mind accompanying me to the travel agency? Not at all. Okay. I am glad you are all here. I would like to talk about the recent string of incidents occurring on the high road. First, let us discuss the circumstances surrounding the hover crash. Marks found along the new road seem to indicate something fell from the road into the ravine below. The injured person found near the crash hover has been identified as its pilot. Now, let us consider the runaway drone Makara. The Makara can only be configured for operation through a control panel behind the agency. Naturally, I considered that someone might have tampered with that control panel. However, after seeing a man fall off the agency's roof, another possibility struck me. An impact, were it strong enough, could also be enough to cause a, ma a machina to malfunction. Such an impact would not necessarily require beastly strength. Even someone weak could deal a forceful enough blow with a little help from nature. Suppose, for example, someone were to jump down from a great height. That would do it. Now then, let us try to figure out who perpetrated these nefarious acts. We have already heard some testimony. The hover lost its balance and overturned while attempting to avoid a passerby. I think we got it. But who could that passerby be? According to the Hover's pilot, it was an Albed female. We found footprints on one of the malfunctioning machina. So, let me ask you all. Has anyone recently been to the ruins at the High Road's south end? And does anyone recall jumping down from a great height? Good. What? No one else? <laughs> one final question. Would the Albed ladies please raise their hands? <laughs> please try to recall what happened, Riku. Good. This is the optimal outcome. She looks happy. 
Whatever works for her. Shall we? <laughs> How did she not notice that? That would be impossible to not notice. Precisely. The hover crashed while trying to avoid hitting you. And you caused the drone machina to malfunction when you landed on it. You, Riku, are the one who caused these two incidents to occur. I am sure you meant no harm, but your carelessness invited disaster. Allow me to determine Riku's sentence, if I may. Didn't expect trash duty. Phew, glad that's all over. You must be tired. As neither did noob. Why the chocobos? They were being employed to power a ferry boat, so I purchased them. That's great. But can I go home now? I picked up all the trash. All of the trash? Every last piece. Look! I thank you for your hard work. Well, get plucking. Ugh, this stinks. Feathers aren't trash. Feathers aren't trash. You're correct, Riku. Okay, so that's the optimal outcome. There are five possible outcomes. The culprit can be Riku. It can be the Chocobo, the Chocobo Eater. It can be Callie. It can be Rin. And it can be Prophet. I don't know who Prophet is. But only two of those outcomes get you items. Riku gets you the Ragnarok. Rin gets you Gipple's Sphere. I don't know if we need that. If we'll have to get that on a second playthrough. But... Only three of those outcomes get you rideable chocobos back on the high road. Riku, Chocobo Eater, and Rin. And only three of those get you episode complete. Riku, Chocobo Eater, and Kali. Only one of them gets you an item, episode complete, and chocobos. And one all three of those things. And the Ragnarok is a great accessory. So you want Riku to be... So from now on, you can ride chocobos on the Meehan high road. Talk to the hover attendant for more information. So that's a huge deal. Because, and I, I, here's the thing, is we're going to equip this right away. So, the thing about the Ragnarok... Is it's, uh, Insignia of Magic reduces MP cost to zero during battle. Like... This is ridiculous because for the Dark Knight, that includes hit points. So, um, things you, you you spend life to cast, they don't cost anything. Now, I, I would really like to... I mean, we're just going to do this. But we got to give somebody else the ribbon then, because the ribbon's huge. Oh, we could just replace the Charm Mangle with a ribbon. But we have to go back to Mihen and do uh, promotion and whatever. But we do have the charm angle, so we will just be able to run up the road. And then there actually are some uh, 
there are some chocobo related items we can pick up and things. Like, there are items we can only pick up, I think, riding a chocobo. So go back to the, the Meehan High Road. Yes! There are chocobos and things. I wonder if I can ride up. Oh wait, I start right here. Okay, this is great. This is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Okay, so this lady, it's first, and first, and for her friend, it is second, and fifth, and then we just have to watch for treasure chests, and run down the high road. This is actually really nice. The charm bangle makes this so much easier than it was. Okay. Now we just skip this. We could probably take a hover to various areas and make this a little easier, but... It's just one more thing to flush out of the game. Hey, there's a treasure chest I never noticed before. Has that been here every time we've run through here? I mean, I'll take remedies. I mean, they're buyable, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm glad we got the Riku ending for that, because now we don't have to worry about it the second time through. Um, I, I might be able to look to see if I can find a way to get the Rin ending. Wow. There's just new treasure chests here. That's the only way to, to describe that. Okay, Albed Lady here. So, fourth... Second. And we go all the way to the travel agency. Which I think is fantastic. Man, even skipping a bunch of stuff and like whittling things down the best I can, this is still an exhaustively long RPG. I'm glad we're not doing every, like, two out of every three days anymore. Well, actually, that got things up quicker. So, I mean, this actually takes longer than it would have under the old schedule. But the old schedule was exhaustive. This is er, exhausting. This is still kind of exhausting. A video every day. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Like, it, it's the, that's the trade-off, right? Is you, you don't want things to take forever. I don't want you to have to wait three years for this to get done. And I don't want to wait three have a ton. There's still commospheres in the ground. Okay, so guy opposite the travel agency. First. You go into the agency. So second, fourth, this guy's third option, and now the lady in yellow on the bridge. And we're going to have to go on the old road and get all those people as well, but I mean, whatever, it's going to, you know, it's a thing. It's just stuff. It's just a bunch of stuff that happened. So yeah, so that's what I'll be doing the rest of the night. The rest of the night I'll just be practicing this. And then uh, tomorrow I will have to record... Uh... Wait a minute, aren't we... Aren't we way past where she should have been? 
No, she should be like right around here. Isn't that the thing? Huh. I could have swore. Hmph! <laughs> Shows what I know. I mean, if we miss one person, it, it's not the end of the world. But I could have swore she was on the bridge next to that. Because we talked to her in the first chapter about the Makita. We had all the stuff to say to her. Right? So wasn't she, like, right here? Well, okay, we've got other stuff to do here when I come back anyway, so... We'll just finish off these people, and then we'll call it a video. Oh, she's up here! Well, she shouldn't have been. So, f fourth and first. So then, Mushroom Rock Road Gate Little Kid. And then the old road should have three people on it, I think, maybe four. So, uh, fifth. <sighs> oh yeah, it's four people. It's guy in purple shirt, and then some other people. And then the lady, and then all those guys way at the end. Which is fine. I mean, it's not. It's a royal pain in the butt. But, since we're being, uh, again, since our search, we're, we're, since we're shooting for exhaustive searching, So second, then there's the lady here, and then yeah, all the way to the end. Hey, there's a treasure chest out of nowhere. I'll take it. Five softs. We probably didn't need those. Fourth. First. There we go. There are probably treasure chests on some of those jump up cliff areas, but what are you gonna do? All right. So it's the third option for this guy. First option for this guy. And we're good. So I'm just going to run back to the save sphere. And uh, call it a day. And like I said, when we, when we come back... We'll be examining some other kind of areas where we can episode complete. And, well, we'll probably be cleaning up this area a little bit more. Because, like I said, you can get on a chocobo, and I think there are some things that you can... You can get. So, we should do that. So, when we come back, uh, more of this, and I'll see you guys for that. You take care. Bye, everybody.